Hello, I'm the Dad, and today I want to show you something pretty awesome. Um, at first we released the VHBL for the firmware 3.15, which is currently just Japanese, but keep your eye at the page. There might be something new for Europe and the US pretty soon. Um, today I want to showcase the 138 menu by Gbot. As you see, it has a force bubble or ball or whatever. The first one is settings, obviously. Like you can configure things like language, homebrew icon, installer icon, what it should install the file as. Like usually it's a w menu bin where to install since the Vita blocked the really access to the game folder. We usually install it to slash psp slash vhbl. If it should list the game homebrews, currently this is not necessary, but it's available. Then themes and backgrounds and to completely clean the folder and of course default settings. The other two bubbles are game and install, like to view and execute homebrews and to actually install homebrews. I have no zip files on my stick, so there is no file found. The other nice thing, which is now new, is explorer. As you can see, um, you can see the folders, single files, and this is basically not really a PSP filer built in, but something that's similar. I mean, PSP filer has a lot of features, but the main feature of PSP filer is the explorer. And having an explorer in the menu itself is pretty nice. If you press triangle, you can rename the file you're currently at or you can create new um, folder or you can just return. If you press square you can mark files and if you then press triangle you can copy them, you can cut them, you can delete them and rename is still the file which you're currently at. So if I now press rename it would rename psxbios.rom instead of both files. Then another thing that's nice is, as you can see, it uses um, a self-made keyboard, so it will work at any half byte loader that supports the menu, which should be any one. Um, you don't need to import certain modules and functions to actually use and call the keyboard, which is not possible in every game and every VHBL. So this is pretty nice solution. You can actually rename files and create folders as you want if you have access to certain things or not. So as you can see I can mark them, I can delete them. If you press circle you go one folder back like in the video folder and back to the M0 and if I now press circle again I'm back in the main menu. Let's see, let's use a save data utility and we will cut it. Now we will go to the temp folder with X, press triangle and paste it. Now it moves the file and the file is an M0 temp. And if you want to put some files on back onto the root M0, you just have to go back and press triangle and paste it. No problem if you mark any folders, it will not put it in any folders, it will just put it on the root. So if you want to put things in folders, you have to access a folder and then copy or paste the files in the folder. You can also delete files and so on. Creating a folder should also be possible. <coughs> there we go. So this is pretty much what I wanted to show. Um, the new explorer in the 138 menu by Gbot is fully working, it's also translated. I think in most languages, at least in German and English, it's translated. So this is pretty nice, having an explorer built in into the menu. I think another menu previously had this feature, but it was not commonly used, I think. The force bubble looks a bit weird, but I think people will get used to it. I'm the dad and see you soon.